guess what? I have a new project, Operation Keep Paul in Montana. When he took that fall with Jesus this spring, we had time to just stop and reevaluate everything. So first we got him healthy and strong again, and then we said, okay, what do we want life to look like now? And it is not, believe it or not, living in two states. So in Alaska, they wait for his work because he's famous for curved handrails and turning square rooms into round libraries. And in Montana, a few people know his work, like East Rosebud Fly Shop, He's done the build out there and dress barn. He did the build out there and he's, you know, remodeled some kitchens and bathrooms, but we want to do more of that. And so I'm reaching out to you to see if you would just keep your ears open for us. We don't want to do a big advertising campaign because, because Paul only works one job at a time. He never wants his customers to wonder where he is. He wants to be on their job. He's careful with materials. He keeps a clean job site and he is absolutely honest which is one of the things that people really appreciate. If it's gonna look bad, he will tell you it's gonna look bad. I'm always like, oh, should you be that honest? Apparently you should be that honest. So um, thank you for listening to this and helping me with Operation Keep Paul in Montana. If you hear of anything, I'd love it. And don't feel any pressure. We're just hoping that we can spend more time being active and proactive citizens in Billings together. So thank you for listening to this Operation Keep Paul in Montana. Bye.